What's going on guys? So what comes to mind when you hear the word exoskeleton? Bugs? Um, superheroes? But what about construction or manufacturing? Now those last two are decidedly less exciting than say Iron Man and obviously less creepy than whatever this hell spawn is. Ugh. Instead, the real world human worn exoskeletons of today and the near future are much more practical. They're more about preventing fatigue among workers and less about making you bulletproof or allowing you to lift a car. Now, the reason we're talking about and taking a look at exoskeletons today is that toolmaker Hilti recently announced that it would soon bring its own commercial exoskeleton to the market, one that would be built with construction workers in mind. And the reason that that is big news is that while there are several entities out there who have been really hard at work trying to make exoskeletons a thing in industrial applications, those are companies like Exobionics, Levitate, Suit X, not to mention the US military, and many other startups out there that you will find if you do a Google search for exoskeletons. This is the first entry into that space by a well-established, highly respected industrial player. Hilti has been making tools and servicing the construction industry specifically for nearly a century. If they are throwing their hat into this ring, it's a ring worth watching and worth taking a deeper look into. So let's get into it. Before we go any further, it would probably be useful to fully explain what we mean when we talk about an exoskeleton. Because at present, there are primarily two types being developed for industrial use. Now the first and the one that Tony Stark is more fond of is the powered or active exoskeleton. These feature batteries or some other form of power generation, usually batteries in the modern versions, in order to fuel motors and actuators that move with your arms and legs and in essence provide you with much more strength than you actually have. It's essentially a robotic suit operated by your natural movement. And think of it as another set of arms or two or three moving in perfect sync with your own and multiplying your strength. These powered models have been in active development for years, but their added weight, bulk, and expense have really held them back for going truly mainstream. Now, the second type is the passive exoskeleton. These don't have any batteries, motors, or actuators. And instead, you can think of these as really a large wearable brace, basically. They're designed to keep your body in proper alignment while also providing more support to your limbs and muscles to ensure that repetitive tasks don't tire you out over the course of a workday. So instead of an extra set of robotic arms pushing with you like you'd have with an active or powered suit, the passive suit is more like a considerate buddy supporting the weight of your arms while you raise a screwdriver or drill above your head for the thousandth time that day. Except way less creepy because this is basically a back brace and not another person. Now in a way, these passive exoskeletons actually end up delivering some of the benefits of their powered counterparts, but in a much lighter and less expensive package. And that is where Hilti's X01 comes in. Now this is obviously a very different and new category that Hilti is entering here, so it has decided to do so with a partner. Hilti is developing its exoskeleton with Autobach Industrials. And this is a pretty interesting partnership, right? As we said earlier, Hilti is a proud and long-standing company with more than three quarters of a century worth of experience behind it. Autobach celebrated a century in business back in 2019, and they are well regarded for groundbreaking work in prosthetics, including innovative work that combines prosthesis and robotics, as well as wheelchairs and of course, exoskeletons. Now the Hilti X001 was developed under this new partnership between Hilti and Autobach, and it's a passive model that is really designed to alleviate stress and strain from workers who perform a lot of shoulder level and overhead work. The frame of the X001 cradles your hips while two prominent pillars extend, one from each side, from the hip brace up to joints that sit just below your shoulders. From those joints, another frame extends behind your deltoids and triceps and into a fastener brace at your elbow. Now, a really big design key to the X001 is that inside those red pillars is a cable management system that allows those arm bracings to move with you while working to transfer the weight, not only of whatever you're holding, but also the weight of your arms themselves 
out from your neck and shoulders and back, and instead down to your hips, closer to your center of gravity, but also to a very strong and stable part of your body. You see this with a lot of hiking backpacks with those hip belts. Those are really designed to transfer the weight of the backpack from your shoulders and into your hips. Now, given that this exoskeleton is all about making shoulder height and overhead tasks less fatiguing, it totally makes sense that it's Hilti that's working to develop something to sell alongside a myriad of tools that you often have to use overhead or at shoulder height. Plus, the company has a long track record of trying to make its tools themselves more ergonomic, more lightweight, and less straining to use. Now, given this new device, let's talk about the problem that exoskeletons are really trying to solve within the construction industry. How big is this problem? Well, musculoskeletal disorders, things like lower back pain, sprains, arthritis, and other injuries that are caused by repetitive strain on your body like lifting are a leading cause of injury in construction work. And that's according to a brief from the CDC examining whether or not exoskeletons are a feasible tool in combating these types of injuries and fatigue. In fact, the CDC says the rate at which musculoskeletal injuries occur in construction is 16% higher than all other industries combined. Now, of the musculoskeletal injuries that occur in construction, more than one third are caused by lifting, according to this CDC brief. The most prevalent injuries are back injuries, but shoulder and joint injuries are also considered major causes of injury. Unfortunately, and as the CDC notes in the brief I'm referring to, there's not a ton of research out there to find when it comes to studying how effective exoskeletons can be in the field in terms of reducing strain, reducing stress on the body. Um, actually, that's why this is probably a briefing instead of a full research paper. Not only is there not a lot of strong research, there's also not a lot of recent research. Even the CDC brief that I'm referring to for this video is three years old at this point. And apart from it, I was really unable to find much else in terms of reputable sources advocating for the efficacy of these exoskeleton devices. Thankfully, this CDC brief does point out a few studies. For instance, there were two separate studies done in France focusing on overhead lifting or tool use, and they actually came to opposing findings on exoskeletons. One study focusing on overhead load assistance found that the exoskeleton in use for that study actually created additional resistance for the worker to deal with. Now, the other study, which focused on holding a tool overhead for plaster installation, found that the exoskeleton succeeded in decreasing a worker's strain while also causing, quote, certain types of pain to disappear. And obviously that is a very positive finding for exoskeletons like the XO-01, which are designed for that type of work exactly. Now, those studies were carried out in Europe and the CDC notes that here in the US, most of the work and research into exoskeletons up to this point has really been done by the Defense Department. One study performed with the help of workers at a naval shipyard found that an exoskeleton provided a 10% increase in productivity, a reduction in the vibration into the hands, and an improved quality of overall work. So despite the fact that the idea of a robotic exoskeleton has been a sci-fi dream for more than half a century now, this is still a market very much in its infancy. We simply don't know much about these devices or much about exactly how helpful they actually are. Now, for its part, Autobach, the company that Hilti is partnering with on this new exoskeleton, they say that their experience that they're bringing into this partnership is built on more than 500 exoskeleton products. That's quite a long history of development. And the company says that the X001 could reduce the load on the arm muscles and shoulders of workers by up to 47% and that is potentially a huge help for folks that work with their hands above their head on a lot of days. However, as the CDC brief points out, there are potential risks to exoskeletons as well. Now, earlier we mentioned their bulky nature in the past, and though that appears not to apply to the X001, there are concerns among safety experts out there that the support exoskeletons provide could mean unnecessary bulk and resistance in the event of an accident where a worker needs to quickly move out of the way of a falling object or if he or she simply loses their balance. And then of course, with anything that you're asking a worker to wear throughout the day, there comes the issue of comfort. Will they have to trade comfort 
for a reduced amount of strain? Will that discomfort be more mentally fatiguing over time than normal strain on the body? Now, for its part, Hilti says the X001 will offer workers virtually their full range of motion while wearing this exoskeleton. And since it's worn like a backpack, it should wear and feel pretty natural. They even note that you might not even have to remove it to use the bathroom. Overall, there's a lot that we simply don't know due to the fact that these aren't in widespread use in the construction industry yet. At the end of the day, however, the aim of exoskeletons like Hilti's are built upon a decidedly worthy aim. And Hilti's entrance into the space will likely provide a nice boost to the market's advancement, not only in terms of development, but also in adoption and recognition as well. The Hilti X001 is slated for release in the fall of 2020, later this year. So very soon, we'll also start to get some very real world understanding of just how effective an exoskeleton can actually be. Now, in terms of cost, Hilti hasn't shared any pricing specifics as of yet, but the big selling point on any exoskeleton system really is that it will reduce fatigue, reduce injuries, and apart from giving you hopefully healthier, happier, and more productive workers, it will also lead to a reduction in workers' compensation costs. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here on the Hilti X001 and the question of exoskeletons and construction work in general. But we wanna hear your thoughts. Let us know what you think of the exoskeleton's potential to make construction work safer and less wearing on workers in the comments below. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in any kind of way, please do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in the construction industry, tools, equipment, trucks, and more, subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit the bell, turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we really appreciate your time and we will see you next time.